Great. Now that you're familiar with adding polynomials, we will be subtracting polynomials. At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to subtract two polynomials. All right, we're going to start with a little quiz, and I'll give you just a couple minutes to think about it, and then you can pause me or whatever, think about it, and then come back and see if you have right answers. We're going to try to write a word for each answer. Um, notice this says negative good, negative up, negative light, negative front. Um, negative good would kind of be, I would be thinking the opposite of good, which would be bad. Negative up would be down. Negative light would be dark. And negative front would be back. So notice what I did when I had a negative sign sitting in front. I just took the opposite. It meant to take the opposite of the word that I had. So we're going to keep that same thing in mind when we're subtracting polynomials. What we're going to do, we will be distributing to get rid of the parentheses, and then we're going to combine like terms. And the way that we are going to be distributing is treating that negative like it means the opposite. So what we are going to do, let me write down some, let's put a 4x there, and let's put a 7 there. Okay, so notice we have two polynomials this time. This time we are subtracting instead of adding. So since we're subtracting, we're going to think of that as a negative sign. So the negative, just like we did with that word, whatever word was after it, we just made it the opposite word. So we are going to take everything that's in parentheses and we are going to make it its opposite. So negative 2x cubed will become 2x cubed. Positive 3x will become negative 3x. And then negative 7 will become plus 7. So we have just dealt with that negative sign. So we are all good to go. If you would like to bring these down, we've got negative 2x cubed plus 5x squared, minus 4x plus 8. I did not leave myself enough room. I didn't leave it on the same line. And there's a positive 2x cubed. OK, so now from here, we can simply combine like terms just like we did in the adding video. So if I have a negative 2x cubed and a positive 2x cubed, those are going to cancel each other out. So they are gone. Um, my next one is 5x squared. There's not another one that has an x squared in it. So I'm just going to bring down the 5x squared. I next have negative 4x and negative 3x. Well, negative 4 and negative 3 is negative 7x. And then a positive 8 and a positive 7 gives me positive 15. So that would be my final answer. All right, let's try number 4. Let's put a negative 5 there. Okay, please notice that once again I have a minus sign, which means I'm going to have to take the opposite of what comes after the minus sign. So the opposite of negative 5 will be 5 positive 5. And the opposite of plus 4x squared will be minus 4x squared. So this whole thing is gone. I still have my x squared minus 8. All right, so now from here, we're going to combine like terms. Uh, 1x squared and minus 4x squared, these two together, will give me negative 3x squared. Notice it's not x to the fourth. I keep the power that's on them. And then minus 8 plus 5 will give me minus 3. Whoop. Did I do anything wrong there? No, I didn't. I'm good. Okay, so that will be my answer. So hopefully now you can subtract polynomials.